All right, team, we're back. The 26th of July's board briefing. It's Wednesday, and we have three rounds for time, 800 meter run, 100 foot bear crawl, 30 kettlebell swings, 53, 70 pounds. That's the RX version of this workout. Please check Sugarwad for your alternative versions, level two, level one, less distance on the runs, lighter kettlebells, okay? We're gonna talk about this one here. The other, the timing, all that stuff applies to the other ones, okay? So, whichever workout you decide to work with, we want to see the runs done in four minutes or less. Those are some goals. Uh, the kettlebell swings done in 45 seconds to a minute, which means one to two sets. And then the last thing is that strange one in the middle of the workout, the bear crawl, which is going to be super effective for this workout, 100 feet. So we're going to make a lane in the gym. Um, down and back is 100 feet. Okay, so it works well. Come in the door from running, down the gym, back, hit those kettlebell swings. Couple things with room in the gym. Please do not like start doing your bear crawl as soon as you come in the back door. Come in, run in, walk in, whatever you're gonna do. We'll have some cones set up, start there, finish there, okay? Um, <clears throat> kettlebell swings, let's move the kettlebells around the gym. We don't have to all swing in one exact spot. Uh, just for the simple fact that uh, it's going to get very jammed up. So we might put all the kettlebells under the pull-up or considering they are Russian swings, which means eye level, okay? Those are some logistics for tomorrow, some timing. Uh, goal for the workout is around 18 minutes. That's our target, okay? Low above, low below, great, okay? But let's not stretch this out to 25 minutes. That's not what this workout is about. Uh, injuries, having injuries, bike is gonna be an alternative, no bikes left, we can scale back, or sorry, uh, use a rower instead. Distances will be on the board tomorrow. Other things we're thinking about, let's talk about the totality of this workout. Runs, legs are gonna be a little bit fried, especially if you're pushing hard, which you should be pushing hard, okay? 100 foot bear crawl. If we're doing the bear crawl correctly, okay, we're gonna to have to have locked out arms when we're uh, loading our shoulder, and then our arms are gonna to have to bend to move. So a lot of tricep action happening there, okay? Uh, a lot of shoulder activation, all that stuff's gonna be happening. A lot of upper body shoulder uh, demand during those bear crawls, especially if you're hitting them very quickly. Um, just that action of this movement, it's gonna really light up those triceps. Guess what's next? 30 swings. So those shoulders and triceps, gonna have to do the work. I know, hey, I keep my arms locked out, there's no triceps involved. Yes, there is, because if you're locking out your arm, you're effectively um, straining, putting some strain on those triceps and they start to burn up a little bit. Not to say that we should be doing kettlebell swings like that, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that there's gonna be some, uh, you know, added stress on the shoulders from bear crawling and then trying to do those kettlebell swings. So what I wanna think about is when I'm doing the runs, to have a loose grip. We don't want to be tensing up, right? A lot of people, including myself, when we're running, <laughs> I hate this, I hate this, and start like tensing up and all the good stuff. So really try to run with your hands and arms nice and loose. Yes, we want to be running, but let's try not to make fists, try to relax a little bit in the upper body uh, to allow us to use the upper body more effectively during those bear crawls and kettlebell swings. The other thing too, a little heavier swing than normal, uh, 53, 70 respectively. When we're doing Russian swings, our elbow shouldn't be like this and the kettlebell should be drooping down. Arms locked out, kettlebell nice and tight with a good hard grip on it so we don't have any droopy bells. All right, guys, that's our brief for tomorrow. Uh, have some fun with it. We'll see you in the AM. Enjoy.